Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. I've been busy wolfing down some food because I hadn't eaten all day and I promised you I'd be back. I've still got a bit of Charlotte Darling but I've been rubbing my face so I'm going to get, get removing that while you all join me. And what I'll do for uh, those of you watching on replay um, because obviously this is... Hello Stacy. Obviously, this is a new product review and some people just come on to watch the new product and they don't want to hear the live chat. Um, I, at the end, I will um, put a, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I forgot what you call it. You know what I mean. I'm going to timestamp, that's it. I'll timestamp where I start to look at the palette. And I will do a further kind of first impression um, where I put photo swatches and stuff like that. But as you know, hello. Let me say hello to everyone. So I'm going to get all the Americans today as well. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Stacey. Hello, Linda. Hello, Bushra again. Hello. Um, thank you for joining me twice today, Bushra. Hello, Michelle. Hello, PM. Um, I'm happy to see you too. Hello, Letty. And thank you for joining me again today. And um, I'm just taking off Charlotte Darling. And I'll do a little bit of a top up of my foundation. But I'm not going to do it all again. Because um, you've all seen that this morning. And then we shall look. I haven't cheated. I've been very, very good. I got it this morning and I've kept it in the packaging. Hello Trini. So that. I can do it a first impression with you all. Um, so I'll just get all of that ready. And I wanted to find my um the little the little um this, which is not powder. It's my I don't think it is. No, look, my little mixture of flawless foundation and flawless filter to touch up my foundation. So I'm gonna do that now. And then, hello Shahina. Let's see who else is saying hello. Hello Stacy. how did you get it so fast? No, it wasn't £9.95 delivery, it was next day though. So it was five ninety five delivery. But you know what? Um, the last order I did, I didn't, I ordered just normal delivery and got the free delivery and I ordered it Thursday afternoon and I got it Monday morning. So there wasn't that much difference. But because I know you were all waiting for it, I got it next day. So it was 5 95 and it was Hermes. So as long as you order before three o'clock the day before, you can pay five ninety five and get next day. I have I've received the palette. I'm just um I'm gonna show it you all. I'm teasing you all and I will show it you now. I'm just doing a little bit of a touch up of my um foundation around my eyes and we shall get going. I can't wait. Now, Charlotte is about to release so many Pillow Talk items. If you've seen Really Re, um, she has posted, she's, I'm so jealous. I am jealous. I'll admit it. I'm so jealous of Really Re because she's got a PR package with a pink vanity bag, which has got all these new Pillow Talk items. And there are masses coming up. It's not just an eyeliner, it's all sorts. Yeah, you saw it. I love the case too. Uh, I just so wish that I had millions of subscribers so that I could get <laughs> get that kind of PR. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? But I don't mind, really. Because it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And you're all lovely to me. But I've got to admit, I'd love to get the PR. <laughs> That case was gorgeous. Anyway, so she's bringing out masses of, of Pillow Talk products. I mean, it's just gone a bit nuts, really. Um, and I'll probably forget all of them, but she's doing a rock and coal. She's doing a, 
a collagen lip bath in Pillow Talk. She's doing one of the, um, you know, like the pink gasm and uh, gold gasm. She's doing a Pillow Talk, one of those. Um, she's doing all sorts, all sorts. And then there's a medium and a dark um, Pillow Talk for people at darker. Um, so I got together today and I, I am getting to the palette, I promise. A while back, I ordered something in the sale. It must have been about two years ago. Does anyone remember this? And basically it had all the eyes to mesmerise in it. I need to dust it down a bit. Had all the eyes to mesmerise and it had all the eyeliners and a full fat lashes mascara. And it was reduced to something ridiculous and I had to get it. And I've obviously emptied it now, but I've often wondered what could I do with the box? And I thought when I saw that pink vanity bag, I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll put all my pillow talk items in it. So I've stashed all my, because I thought I'm bound to be adding more to it soon. And I thought then I can keep all my pillow talk items together in that box. Right, I'm not gonna tease you any longer. Um, I am going to, my my base is probably not perfect, but who cares? It does need a bit of touching up, but let's get, let's get looking at this. I do need a bit of powder though. Sorry guys, two seconds and I promise you, I'll get to the palette. You're all waiting patiently and I'm teasing you. Right, a little bit of powder over the eyes and we'll have a look at this pillow talk palette you know what they say all good things come to those who wait but i can hear some people screaming and going for god's sake get on with it girl right here we go let's take it out of the plastic you can see it's sealed i definitely haven't opened it i've got to break into it hello jack Jack has just come on and said hello to me from his channel. Here it is. The Pillow Talk palette. Pretty, hey? Nice, pretty packaging. But let's not get caught up on the box. Let's open it up. And it's a similar one to the first Instant Eye palette. So it's plastic, it's not like the um, the metal the metal boxes, and I'm already getting fingerprints on it. It's not like the metal um, film star bronze and glow. It's plastic, but it still looks pretty. Okay, and let's open it up, and I'll just put this box in front. So she's got the plastic with the um, enhanced smoke, all of that business on it. And there are the colours. Right, let me just zoom in. So we have, what's this one? Day. I can't read back to front. Not in this light. Day. Desk. Date. And I like this one. Dream. You finally made it to the live. Hello, Linda. So this is the new Pillow Talk palette hot off the press hot off the mail and it's all there now i can see some people were saying i'm not sure i'm gonna i'm not gonna do comparisons right now live because as i say i've only just opened it and i will do another kind of first impression video for people um that don't want to sit through all this live banter with us but um so I will do all the kind of comparisons then. I would say this is sort of sophisticated because they're all matte shades. They're brownie shades. Um, I'm not saying they're the same as, I'm saying what they remind me of. So this is like sophisticated. Um, I can't think, this is, this is quite peachy actually. It reminds me of the Too Faced peach palette. Um, and they are all matte as well. So you've got you've got six matte shades in the middle there. They're all matte shades in the middle, which is good. I like to have a few matte shades. And then you've got the day eye. Um, and I'm just trying to think 
what's it remind me of? There's nothing jumping out of me. Obviously, they're all kind of similar tones to what we've seen before, but possibly a bit of the original pillow talk. But I'm definitely going to get back to you with the comparisons. And this isn't like anything I've really seen. It's kind of a raspberry pink shade. So what do you think of it, guys? Is it all hype or do you think... Um, it's something different. I do like this. these three. It is lovely, isn't it? I want to go at these three. I want to do these three. I really want to do these three. Can you do the dream look, please? Yes, that's the one I want to do. The dream look, yes. Uh, it's £60. So it's not cheap. It's like... Um, all our other instant looks. I tell you what is very good, I think, about this. Because you've got the six matte shades in the middle, I think it's very good for hoodies. You've got a good uh, transition shade there. <laughs> and, you know, a good one to build up as a transition there. These three, actually, you could build up and do transitions. They're just, those are really pretty. And the fact that they're all matte, is very good when you've got hooded lids. Um, you know, a lot of Charlotte's palettes tend to be a lot of, of sparkle, and I think this is going to be quite flattering. So let us go in. And I might kind of mix and match. I'm not going to stick to one, but I am going to do Dream. Don't worry about that. I'm definitely going to do Dream because that seems like something different, really different. Now, I have a little prediction before I start, I have a prediction because obviously um, they're bringing out a lot of pillow talk pro uh, products. And I predicted a while ago, I said that I thought she should bring out a rock and coal and she's about to bring out a rock and coal um, in pillow talk. And I described it exactly as it was. But I don't know if I did it on my channel or if I did it in the comments. So this time I'm going to make sure that I do it on my channel. And that is, I have a prediction that the one thing she hasn't done yet, which could follow is Pillow Talk perfume. Um, I can just see her advertising it, saying that it smells of clean, fresh sheets and roses, and it's got subtle undertones of amber and kind of sexy undertones. Pillow Talk perfume. So if she comes out with that, right, good shout, Mr. Callie. If she comes out with that, you heard it here first. All right, so I'm going to go in with, I'm just going to use, I'm going to use the prime shade of day. I don't worry, I'm getting to dream, but I don't want to put all of that on. I want to start off with a kind of prime shade. So I'm going to put that on my lid. And then we'll go in with the the dream eye. Hello, Shoshana. Hello, everyone. I'll catch up with you all in a minute when I've done this eye look. And I've got my light in front of me. Um, while I'm doing this, I'll tell you that I I had to move my light into the other room because the light blew and it's not been fixed yet and it's all a long story because that all started with my dad getting ill when he was trying to replace the light bulb and it didn't work but that's a very long story and uh, I couldn't bring myself for a long time to report it because it upset me even thinking about it. Anyway, I told you it's a long story and I'm not going into it right now. There we go. So that is the prime shade of the day eye. And then I'm going to just pop as a transition before I get going with it. Because these shades are lovely, these dream eyes. But if I just put them straight on, it might be a bit much. So I'm going to go in with this and use it as a transition shade. Right, you could use any one of these three shades as a transition, depending on your skin tone and also depending on how much you want to build up the intensity in the crease. 
So it makes that bit quite versatile, I think. So this is the smoke, no, sorry, the enhanced shade of the date, the date eye. I think if you use that on a date, it would be quite an understated date. Do you remember when we did the stories about what kind of date it would be on that other palette? Do any of these shades match any other palettes? Um, I'm going to go away, Jess, and... As I said, I've only just got this today and I'm opening it live here with you now. Um, I've not heard that they are there are any repeats in there um, and I have been looking out for it. I would say looking at it, they don't look like there's any repeats, but I can't guarantee that. I'm going to have to go and get all my palettes out and go through them one by one. I will say that this sort of is very sophisticate because it's matte browns. But I think the sophisticate browns are not as warm as those. So I think, you know, shades like this one here. I'll swatch them in a minute. But shades like this one here, you probably could find very similar ones. Um, but matte peach, I've not seen that before. I've seen peaches, but not matte peaches in a palette. So I think we're okay in terms of repeats. You need to see it in person, obviously. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to now go in with this. I'm going to do the... Mm, I'm just going to do Enhance, Prime Enhance and Smoke now. So I'll put this over my lid, but I'm putting it over that other one. I didn't want to go straight in with this because it looked a bit scary. So I would call this kind of raspberry tones, this dream. Is it called dream? Dream, yeah. It's kicking up a little bit in the pan. So this is the prime shade of the Dream Trio. All the Ali Pallies are here. I love you all. And those of you that commented on Instagram asking Charlotte Tilbury to send me the blue palette, thank you. And you commented how much you bought as a result of seeing my videos. I just love you all. You're you're and here as well, but please, I, I just love you all, you're, you're great. And even if I don't get any PR, it was so lovely reading your comments. <laughs> Shahana's saying, please tag Charlotte on Instagram for Ali. Right, now I'm gonna go in with the enhanced shade and let's build this up. So I'll put this on the outer corner and up into the socket. This is very pretty, this trio. I think they're trying now to really widen what pillow talk means. To get us ready for the medium and darker shades. Are coming along and I think that's very good because I do think you know pillow talk lipstick or pillow talk lip liner was a little bit too fair for me so if you're darker than me it wasn't very inclusive so I think it's good that she's she's thinking about darker skin tones because pillow talk has become such a an iconic thing and what was it that um really re said it's a brand in it's a brand inside a brand pillow talk now so this is the enhanced shade i'm just building up the intensity and then i'm going to go in with the smoke and put that i might do that with the smudge brush 
You said the same thing. Well, I'm not reading any comments at the moment because I'm so sort of busy jabbering away to you all, but also trying to get this on so that you can see what it looks like. I'm just going to take the smudge brush and put this in the corner. So this is a matte shade, but it's quite bright. And then I'll blend it out. This brush has become a bit misshapen because I, I put it in a drying rack and I must have pull the bristles down, but it's annoying me. That is very pretty, isn't it? Yes, uh, so people are asking how you purchase it. Um, there is a link for 48 hour access, early access. Um, So you can purchase but i got the link yesterday so it'll be if you haven't got the link you can you can get it tomorrow it'll be up on our website tomorrow unless somebody wants to share their link below as i'm doing this because i think if you send the link to someone it works it doesn't it doesn't stop you sharing it with someone else. Right, and then I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to, that is lovely, but it's quite bright on the outer corner. So I'm just going to put a bit of this um, date eye smoke just over the top of it a little bit to just darken the outer corner a little bit more. because I don't want to accentuate the hood by making it too, although it's a matte shade, if you have a shade that's too bright, that's also gonna accentuate the hood. And then I'm gonna take, hmm, I'm gonna take, now, I'm always a bit careful with these pinky shades when I go underneath my eyes because it can make you look like you've got red eyes, you know, a bit tired. But what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to take this shade here and this shade here. Yeah. Am I? Yes. So this shade here and this shade here, and I'm going to mix them and I'm going to put that underneath. So there's a bit of red there, but there's also a bit of chocolatey brown mixed in with it. Because if it's too bright, it's just going to make me look like I haven't slept. I'm following on from... Charlotte's little tip when she was doing the Charlotte Darling look. I'm going to take, I'll take this one here. This one here, and I might mix it actually with this one here. That one and that one onto this little brush. A little bit of this one, just a little bit of this one and a bit of this one. Mix it onto that little brush and just put that in the corner. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, because this is perfect. Now, can you see now that I, it doesn't look very blended at the top? And I'm going to show you this one here. This shade here is going to be your best friend. I can immediately spot it. That one is the one that's going to help you blend the shadow away into nothing, she says. But it looks a bit dark. 
whoopsie. It didn't look that dark. Now you can see that this is definitely a first impression. It definitely didn't look that dark when I went into it. But it's a little bit darker than it looks in the pan. That's fine. I just need to go a bit easier when I put it on the brush. <laughs> but it will, because it's a sort of matte skin tone, it'll help blend it out to nothing. When in doubt, use your fingers. And then I'm going to take, with my fingers, I'm going to take... Now, the only thing, this, this is the only one that you can really use as a highlighter. You could use this one, but it's a matte highlighter. So I'm going to use this one. And put that under here. And pop that under here. Now, of course, when Charlotte brings out this rock and coal in Pillow Talk, which I'm definitely interested in, because I've been wanting that for a while. I've been saying it needs a bit of a lighter. Whenever I put Pillow Talk on, I've said it needs a bit of a lighter eyeliner, a bit more of a kind of reddy brown. And hey, presto, you know, sometimes I do wonder, is she listening to me? But I'm, I'm not that egocentric to think that she is, but... I've definitely said that before and hey presto, she's bringing it out, but I don't have it yet. So I need to get an eyeliner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on, if I can find it, I'm not very organised today, but if I can find it, I'm going to get the um, eyeliner Audrey, which I'm sure is in here. I'm sure it's in here. I'm sure I put it in here. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Eyeliner, Audrey, where are you? Just talk amongst yourselves for a minute, guys. If not, I've got something else I can use for now. But I thought I had my eyeliner in Audrey in this bag. And I don't. Yes, I do. I found it. But she's bringing out a rock and coal and it's a sort of brownie ready tone and it looks beautiful. But for now, I'm just going to use Audrey, which I used this morning as well with the Charlotte Darling look. Now I'm having to press on it hard again. Yet this morning, it was really, it came out, let me just sharpen it again. When you sharpen it, it seems to be all right. You have to just keep sharpening it. That's better. Now, I reckon that there's going to be an awful lot of first impressions going for this look because it's different. It's a lot more different than the other trios in the palette. But it'd be interesting. I'd be interested to try the... Uh, which one is it? The Desk Eye because I think the only thing that might possibly remind me of Look at all my finger marks already. This one here might possibly remind me of the curry palette. I have a feeling there was something quite similar in the curry palette. And if nobody knows what I'm talking about, I'm talking about her very first instant 12 pan palette that smelt of curry powder. And when I did a review and said that, everyone sniffed their palette and said, oh my God, you're right, it smells of curry powder. So I've always called it the curry palette. Okay, so that is the look. I'll pop on a bit more mascara. And then I'll put on some pillow talk. Yes, curry powder. I kept thinking when I got it, 
Who's cooking curry? I can smell curry powder. And then one day I thought, why is it whenever I put this eyeshadow palette on that I can smell curry powder? And I went like that and it was the it was the palette. I'm gonna put some peach gasm on, look. Now, if you mix, I've said this before, she's bringing out a pillow talk, one of these. And I know I was supposed to put mascara on, but I've just got distracted. If you mix peach gasm and pink gasm together, you will get pillow talk. I bet you that's what they've done. And I've, I've, I definitely said that on a previous video. If you mix pink and peach, let's do it. Let's do it if I can. Yes, I've got it here. I've got it out ready. That's why I was a bit late. I was making sure I had everything. Which one is my pink gasm? That's gold. I want pink. So if you mix pink and peach, if you bought pink and peach and you mix them together, I'm sure that that's going to be very similar to the pillow talk. Look, and that's going to go with the eye. So I'll just put a bit of this over the top. I just need to twist some up. I've given up on the mascara, girls. Sorry. So just mix your peach and your pink together. And it will give you a pillow talk blush but i will put a little bit of pillow talk blush as well if you want let's just go mad for pillow talk right now why not okay and then i think it was stacy stacy am i right stacy that it was you that said have you got superstar lips in pillow talk was it you Yep, there's all sorts. Have a look on, on Really Re. She's bringing all sorts of Pillow Talk products out and we're all going to be bankrupt. So I'm going to do the Superstar Lips in Pillow Talk. I mean, there's all sorts of options. I could put on the Matte Revolution with the lip luster over the top um, and whatever but i'm just gonna do the superstar lips where did i put the superstar and then of course don't forget you've also got these pillow talk limited editions which was pillow talk diamonds and pillow talk lucky diamonds um you know you could just have a whole face of pinkness going on but i'm gonna do pillow talk My pillow talk lip liner. No, that's not pillow talk. I thought that was pillow talk. It was my new one, but it's not. Sorry, guys. That's pink Venus. And I thought it was pillow talk because it was looking new. And I've got a new pillow talk somewhere. But let me just sharpen this one then because this is pillow talk. Yes. Right. I'm just going to sharpen my pillow talk pencil. This is why I was getting my new one out. <laughs> I've got about three pillow talk pencils. A couple of them I was given at events. You know, the, the VIP events. They always seem to put one in the packet. I'm going to catch up with all your comments in a minute. Right, so I think it was Stella. I don't know if I've missed you, but... Someone was asking about Pillow Talk Superstar Lips. And this is Pillow Talk Superstar Lips. 
So I'm just going to show you that. Here we are. That's Pillow Talk. There it is on my hand. So that's Pillow Talk on the lips. And I've put a little bit of that um, pink gasm and peach gasm on my cheeks to try and cheat what the pillow talk um, pink gasm, pillow talk beauty light wand or whatever she's going to call it. She should call it. I can't think of what she's going to call it. But anyway, um, and the other thing that we haven't used, but I will put a little bit on as well just because i'm going pillow talk mad actually i'm going to put two things on that are pillow talk i'm going to put two things on that pillow talk i've just had an idea i've had a brain wave so i'll just put on some some of the powder blush as well just because there's probably no need because that in itself looks quite nice but why not? Let's just go pillow talk mad. Because everyone else seems to. <laughs> right. So this is pillow talk cheek to cheek. Also, this will give me a little semi contour. And then the one in the middle... This is a pillow talk palette, uh, sheet to sheet. You can almost use as a bit. I'm just going to put it up here because it's almost a highlighter. It looks like a highlighter. But I'll leave this bit nice and shiny. Now, I suddenly had an idea. Pillow talk palette of pops. Yes. I thought so. Now, these are going to make brilliant toppers on this dream look, this one or this one. So I'm going to put a couple of them. So I'll put this, this enhanced shade first here. You know, if you want to dial it up, this one here. And then I've put the darker one on the outside. Can you hear Jack playing with his friends? <laughs> I know, I love this quad. At least I can't be accused of letting things go off on shelves because I do use all my Charlotte Tilbury at least. So I'm just using this one here on the outside just to give it a further little pop of colour. And just to intensify it, I'm just going to get this Audrey pencil. The other thing she could do Okay, another one of you've heard it here first. Let me just do this so I don't poke myself in the eye. A pillow talk eye cheat. <laughs> like my NYX pencils that are, are skin coloured but they've got a touch of pink in them. There you go. If the, Just in case she's listening, pillow talk eye cheat. Skin colour with a touch of pink. But, you know what, she still hasn't released. If she wants to call it Pillow Talk, then I don't mind. Just release, will you? I want a rose gold colour chameleon. 
and she could call it pillow talk colour chameleon. I want that as a base to put my, because it always applies better when I use colour chameleon as a base on my eyes. I've got to put some mascara on now, haven't I? It's missing some mascara. Right, mascara, mascara, mascara. Where's my little witty, my little witty travel one? There you are. A lot of people reviewing the Superstar Lips in Pillow Talk were saying, oh, it doesn't look anything like Pillow Talk. But I could never understand that because to me it does. As Linda's here, I know that Linda's always saying more mascara, more mascara. And she's right, it does actually help. Hello, Linda. No problem, Stacey, any requests like that. And if I don't see it or I forget to do something, do remind me, I never take offence at people going, oh, I asked you the other week if you could do such and such and you haven't done it yet. I'm never going to go, ooh, why are you being like that? Because actually, you know, at the moment, my life is completely hectic. So if I forget, please don't feel afraid to remind me. I don't mind. You're all lovely. I know that you're not going to be horrible. So um, that's it. Anything else that you want to look at that is pillow talky? And I'll do tomorrow, I'll do um, some comparisons with this. Ah, you wanted me to swatch them, didn't you? That would be a good idea. Shall I swatch them? Right, I will just roll up my sleeve. So we have, I'm going to do it this way because when I do it that way, I can never, it's good for taking photos, but then you can't see it. So, or should we do the Wayne Goss thing? And shall I brush them on my head? Do you want me to brush them on my head? All right, tell me, do you want them on my arm or brushed on my head? I don't mind because I'm not going out anywhere. Head swat, no, Shaheena said, arm. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. The people have spoken. No head swatches. <laughs> oh, that's pretty conclusive. Lovely. Okay, then. So, we'll start off with the day. So, we'll go enhance. I think pillar, yes, um, Pillow Talk perfume to me suddenly came to me last night, and I thought I can, I can smell it, and I can hear Charlotte describing it. So like the, it's got top notes of crisp, clean sheets, and middle notes of roses, and base notes of amber and seductive cinnamon, or you know, you can, I can just see, it. and in in a pink, a pink bottle maybe shaped like a pillow. Or oh, no, on a, I'm, I'm terrible. Remember how her perfume came in a silk bag, the uh, scent of a dream? She could put her pillow talk perfume on a, on a very small silk pillow. There you go. I should, I should get a job for her. Product development. <laughs> right. Now that is the, day look so this is the prime shade then we've got the enhance see that one i think if any of them look similar to other things it's the enhanced shade of the day look because that could be in a lot of palettes couldn't it but it's the only one that really struck me as looking similar And there is the smoke shade. I do think that this is going to be, I hate talking about 
different makeup if you're over a certain age. But let's just say that if you've got crepey lids, rather than talking about age, or you've got hooded lids like me, um, I do like a palette that's got quite a few matte shades in it. And this one, I think, you know, if you think of the icon as being a palette that a lot of younger people would use because it's got a lot of shimmery shades in and a lot of vibrant colours. This is going to be very kind of, this is a grown up palette. This isn't, yeah, you know, this is, this is a palette for me. This is a palette, a grown up palette because it's got lots of matte shades in it, but nice matte shades, not boring ones. Right, now I'm getting onto the desk look. This so reminds me of Too Faced uh, Peach Palette. Right, and then this is the Enhanced Shade. So these are all matte, these ones. I think this is going to be so pretty in this. Um, exactly, a sophisticated palette. And then I was trying not to say mature because I hate that. <laughs> right, and there's the smoke shade. So this is really unusual. They're all matte shades, but I can see myself using that a lot in the spring. And then we get onto the date, the date eye, which again is all matte, but really good for transitioning. So that is that definitely is darker than it looks in the palette. Well, you saw what I did up there. I got a bit of a shock because in the palette, it looks like there's a there's a shadow. Let me just get you this. There's a shadow in MAC called Kid. I don't know if anyone knows it. It's, and there's it's very similar to Soft Brown, this one here. And it, it's such a perfect transition shade that it looked like that. But when you swatch it, it looks a lot darker for some reason. Right, so that is the prime shade this is the enhanced shade and then this is the smoke shade i'm hurtling towards 50 in four months time <laughs> right and that so that's the um date date eye and then the dream eye let's do the dream eye so in heart um uh, prime enhance and i'm just about gonna have enough room and smoke i'd love to work for ct that wouldn't be work to me. That would be a dream. So there we go. So dream, date, desk, day. And the only one, as I said, that looks similar to things that have gone on before, possibly that one and that one. But other than that, I think... You see, Sophisticate palette is all matte browns, but they they don't look as warm as that. But I will go and dig through all my palettes tomorrow, surround myself with um, lots of palettes and go through until I look. And I'll definitely be looking at this one here. I think Icon possibly. Possibly this. The, the, these shimmery ones here. But they don't, they look too raspberry. And then this one. But if you see these ones here, they just, they don't look like anything before, really. So, yeah, I think. But they are warm. It's another warm palette. For those of you that are fed up of warm palettes, yes, it's another warm palette. But I can see all of these being used in the spring. All right. Now, let me... <laughs> Let me look at all your comments. I think it's all getting into age comments, isn't it? Yeah. 
Right, I thought so. We're not old. We're not old. We are sophisticated. I like that. Right. Um, it's only let me go back so far. So uh, she'll do us with some similar... Right, can you see my comments? Yes, I can see your comments, Stacey. I just haven't been reading any of them so far. Uh, the sharper, sharpener from Primark is fantastic. Oh, thank you, Shahina. Um, I like the lippy as it's glossy. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Uh, really suits Ali. This is so much fun to see, Ali. Such a brand new palette. Oh, my God, you've nearly hit pad. Yes, I have on the pop quad. Is that the palette of pops? Yes, it's pillow talk palette of pops that I used afterwards. It does work well together. Um... Thank you for using Superstar Lips. Yes, no problem, Stacey. Um, I'm so happy I already have all those colours in my existing collection. Easy, safe. Thank you. Um, I have Superstar Lips in Pillow Talk. It doesn't show up much on my medium skin tone. Um, Bushra, um, if you want, try putting... Try using um, a different... Um, lip cheat underneath that's what I've often done if something doesn't show up um, like you know I used um, Nude Kate my son got me Nude Kate at Christmas which can make me look a bit like a corpse right but I put I put a darker um, lip cheat underneath and you can get some amazing colours if you play like that um <laughs> I'm just laughing that none of you wanted me to do head swatches. Um, you'd love Charlotte to bring out a Pillow Talk perfume. What's CT's perfume that's already out like? Linda, CT, CT's perfume is, is quite powerful. But whenever I've worn it, because I have got it, of course, um, whenever I've worn it, I've had compliments from men. And not my other half. Shh. Oh, that's lovely. You smell gorgeous. What are you wearing? And she's right. I've, I, I've, whenever I've got it on, someone stops me, a guy, and says, what perfume are you wearing? I really like it. Um, Old-fashioned. It has got a bit of an old-fashioned... There are a lot of perfumes that were out in the sort of 70s that quite strong that smell a little bit like that but I actually like it um I think it is yeah I mean scent is so such a personal thing isn't it um it is powerful it's not a it's not a subtle scent that's why I'm thinking if she did a pillow talk perfume she could have something a bit more sort of a bit more subtle and a bit more feminine like not not that it's not feminine but it's quite strong it's a quite like in your face whereas a pillow talk perfume i could see something a bit more fresh and spring like we are all evergreen oh i like that shahina yes we're evergreen i'm sure your eyes are not really bad Gemma. You are the best, Ali. Thanks for always doing comparisons. It's really helpful and appreciated. Thank you, Brazilian girl. Well, I will do some more comparisons tomorrow. We're not a number, but an attitude. I love this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I well, I need some of that, but I like powdery smells. I tend to go for in perfumes. I I have two that I like, either really fresh. Or the ones that I really like are kind of, um, they're almost like aftershaves. They've got quite a musky kind of peppery um, scent to them. So I quite like the powerful ones. And I got for Christmas from my dad because we, we all bought presents from dad to and opened them in front of him. Um, I got um, Tom Ford's um, Black Orchid perfume. And that I love because that's the sort of scent that I like. It's sort of got pepper and musk and everything else. Manly smells, yeah. And it is manly. Um, 
but sometimes it, it's just, I think it also depends on your mood because I go through moods of wanting something else, like something really fresh scent and and everything. And I also got a lot of um, Lush from from my niece for Christmas, and I'd never used Lush before. And there's some lovely scents there, um, bath stuff. Really, it's, it's got me addicted to it now. JK Magic is too light on its own, so I use Bond Girl Lip Cheat. Yes, exactly. And you know when they say the models all look like when they're wearing lipsticks, it doesn't look like that on me. One, obviously, it is skin tone, but also I, I'm sure it is that at times they're putting different lip liners underneath. Black Orchid. Um... You like Black Orchid, do you? What's it? Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I haven't smelt that one, but I've been told that it's really nice. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's look. I should kind of do a bit of a zhuzh with my hair because it's looking a bit tired. But I hope you enjoyed it. And tomorrow, what I will do is I will get all my palettes out all over the table and I will dig in and start trying to work out what is what. And I'll try not to forget any and um, come up with some answers for you all. But I do think I can safely say that these ones in the middle here are obviously browns. You probably think, well, I've got brown palette. But to have a peachy uh, matte one, these are quite individual. I think this little set is quite individual. Um, and I do like this as well. But as I said, the only ones are these sort of shimmery warm colours might be quite similar. But you're not getting a palette that's got... It's not like Charlotte Darling, even though I ended up buying it, that's got, you know, all the colours are in another palette. That's all I can say. So it's up to you really but what do you think i'll do a close-up and then i'm going to say goodbye to you all um and i loved it the fact that i've been able to put out two videos today and you're all keeping me great and sane now tomorrow i did say i'd do another live didn't i i might not be able to do one tomorrow actually but i'll try and do one on friday and i'll do one on friday at nine o'clock for my australian friends and then i'll try and do one on saturday as well because I've missed chatting to you all. I love you all. All right, take care. Have a great day. Here's a close-up of the dream look of the new Pillow Talk palette. There we are. You're welcome, everyone. Take care. Love you all. Bye. Mwah.